I was walking home, I wasn't even drunk, I tripped, and I couldn't get back up, so like a little bitch, I called the ambulance. <laughs> and the ambulance hung up on me. For real, they hung up. And two minutes later, they called me back. And they're like, they're like this guy rushed on the phone, just like, are you bleeding? Are you in pain? Are you hurt? Are you screaming? Are you crying? Are you in constant pain? Have you been cut? Have you been shot? And I'm like, I wish I could tell you all of those, but uh, no. Uh, it's like, all right, and they hang up again. So another 10 minutes pass, maybe, maybe less, and an ambulance shows up. A second ambulance shows up, a police car shows up, a regional doctor shows up, and some dude who was just driving by stopped to help us. Which means all of a sudden we're looking like fucking CSI Miami. Because idiot here fucking tripped over. So the ambulance arrives, and by the way, I'm super happy with that ambulance service, because if in Hungary you call the ambulance, you can call them and say, like, oh my god, I fell under the train, I lost both of my legs, please come. Oh my god, I'm losing so much blood. They're like, yeah, we can't park at the train station, so if you can make it across the street, that would be really great, because the other day we got fined, and I just don't want that. Anymore. So anyway, the ambulance arrives, and now they want the dramatic story, right? They're just gonna be, okay, tell us everything that happened in detail. And I'm like, ah, shit. All right, here goes. Uh, as I was walking down the street in the darkness, I was not expecting anything. I just wanted to get home. I was turning the corner and I could see my house. Do you see, that's my house right there. Like that's the one, it's like, yes, yes, I see it. What happened then? It's like, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's like, take your time, don't worry. Would you like a blanket? Fuck yeah, I'd like a blanket. What else do you got? Like, take everything you have. Like, what are... And I was like, okay, and what happened then? I was like, can you, as I was turning the corner, do you see that stone? And they're like, yeah, well, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. But then they took me to hospital. Is this a thing that, because uh, this is a thing in Austria, I found out that once they take you to hospital and you came with an ambulance, they don't tell you what's wrong with you. Because they're gonna freak you out. Is this a thing? I got in by an ambulance, but I tripped and my knee hurt. So I'm like, oh my God, doc, what's wrong? It hurts so much. And he's like, could be anything. <laughs> could it though? Could it be anything? Because, you know, I tripped over and my knee hurts and doesn't bend and kind of feels limited to me, you know? Like, it's like a limited spectrum of possibilities. Not like a, not like an anything spectrum. Well, we have to go look at the x-rays to know. And I was like, I understand that, but you're not gonna go look at the x-rays, come back and say, well, turns out you have AIDS. <laughs> I'm also surprised, but that's what's wrong with you. That's why your knee hurts. Yeah. So that wasn't gonna happen. So yeah, I had a broken kneecap. I had to stay at hospital for a couple of weeks. For a man, at one point you're gonna start flirting with the nurses. This is not a joke. I'm just telling that's how male biology works. If you're tied to a bed for weeks, right? That day I knew the hot nurse was working, so I was totally trying to flirt a little bit. And it's a very weird situation to try to flirt in. Because, you know, I couldn't move my left leg and I was tied to bed. So my left leg was like half the size of my right leg. And my right arm was like six times the size of my left arm for a different reason. And I'm, yeah, that's a wanking joke. Okay? And that's the most civilized wanking joke you'll ever hear. I fucking stand by it. But I know it was her working, so I thought, okay, whenever I hear her voice from the corridor, I'm gonna prepare myself, and when she walks in the room, she's gonna say something to me. I don't know what, but whatever she says, I'm gonna throw it right back. It's going to be funny, smart, sexy, clever. It's going to be the best fucking pickup line, and it's going immediately, whatever she says. Right, so I hear her voice, I'm like, let's go, I'm ready. Come on, come on, let's speak to me. Come on, let's see, let's see, what do you have? And she walks in, and he goes like, ah, Mr. Vamos, have you taken a shit yet today? <laughs> No, but I would for you. <laughs>